Early Wednesday morning, the Russian Navy cruiser Miskiva was mortally damaged around 60 miles off the Ukrainian coast near Odessa. The 612-foot, Slava-class guided missile cruiser was the flagship of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, and the main protector of the dozen ship amphibious flotilla the Kremlin has assembled for Russia's wider war on Ukraine. That flotilla so far has played no major role in the fighting that sharply escalated starting on the night of February 23, and it's not hard to see why. Ukraine's missiles have made the Ukrainian littoral a very dangerous place for Russian warships. It might not be so dangerous if the Russian fleet had adequate at sea air cover. But a lack of aerial protection for decades has vexed Russian sailors. Officials in Kyiv claimed their forces hit Moskva with a pair of locally made Neptune anti ship missiles. Officials in Moscow insisted the cruiser was on fire because of an onboard accident. In any event, 12 hours later Moskva sank in heavy seas while under tow back to her home port of Sevastopol, in Russian-occupied Crimea. The Kremlin reported the cruiser's 500-man crew already had abandoned ship. Circumstantial evidence strongly indicates the Ukrainians are telling the truth about their attack on Moskva. According to the U.S. Defense Department, on Thursday morning, the surviving warships of the Russian Baltic Fleet, smaller frigates and corvettes, sailed south, away from Odessa, putting an additional 20 miles between them and any Ukrainian missile batteries along the coast. They appeared to be retreating from the problem that the Russian Navy, and the Soviet Navy before that, long had struggled with, how to protect the fleet from sea skimming missiles. The miniaturization of seekers, autopilots and rocket engines in the 1960s and 70s brought on a revolution in naval warfare. The world's leading navies introduced anti-ship cruise missiles that could fly at subsonic speed just above the waves out to a distance of 100 miles or more, and strike ships right at the waterline, where any damage is likely to be catastrophic. Fleets at the same time mold how to defend against the enemy's own anti-ship missiles, or ASMs. The problem got a lot more urgent in 1982, as naval leaders all over the world watched the Argentine military sink seven British ships, two by way of Exocet anti-ship missiles.